You are listening to ChartingWealth.com for Friday the 12th of May, 2017. We see that stocks as far as the S&P 500 and the Qs are down for the day. On the daily charts, we see that the NASDAQ, well, I'm sorry, TLT, the 20-year bond fund, is down for the day just barely 0.01%, and gold is up 0.38%. Now, again, we're looking at two-day charts. We always like to go to those as well as look at our weekly charts. Let's start with the weekly as far as the S&P 500 goes, as depicted by SPY. We see that we have three weeks of up movement. That upward movement has been diminishing as far as the size of the candles go. Still going up, though, but we don't have a crossover yet on our PPO, our price percent oscillator, derivative oscillator still in the negative two. It is losing that negative energy, but still negative, still hasn't crossed over. We shall see what we see on Friday. We do see how the market also has topped out right around about $240 for the last two weeks. So let's continue to take a look at that. If we check out the two-day chart where we were to begin with, we can see that So far, we are just touching that two-day trend line. That's a good trend line connecting three, almost four candles there. And we see that this latest two-day candle is a doji, meaning lots of indecision. We haven't seen a doji for a while. We saw it when the market topped off after some down movement, moved up a little bit or in early April, and then moved over down once more before it started this latest climb. That's when we last saw some spinning tops or dojis. We're seeing one right now. Does that mean the market has topped off? We don't know. We're trend followers. Remember, we shall wait and see. We do know that we're still in a confirmed down move as far as our weekly chart goes. So if we have a crossover going down on this two-day chart, we will look for an entry point. Don't think that's going to happen on Friday, but it could. If it's a big down day, we'll continue to watch. Market could also go up. Let's look at the Qs. What's going on there? The Qs was down just barely. That's the NASDAQ 100.07% on this latest two-day candle. Now, you might say, wait a minute, that's not a down candle. Well, We're looking at a two-day candle. The down movement just represents a little bit down, and that's just for one day, and we're using Heiken Ashi candlesticks. You want to know more about those? Go to chartingwealth.com. Listen to that great training that we've had lots and lots of good feedback on on Heiken Ashi candlesticks. What do we see going on? Well, we see on our weekly chart three weeks of solid up movement, If we, and we see that the PPO continues to climb, as does the derivative oscillator over the course of the last week, we see on our uh, two-day chart, we also see that the weekly chart has been rocketing up for quite a while on the NASDAQ 100. Not as strong a movement up as over the prior week, as far over the prior two-day candle, as far as the last one goes, but still up movement and we're still above that two-day trend line, and and so we'll just continue to watch how the NASDAQ 100 goes up. You know that we had that crossover at the end of the last week, and we jumped in and have seen things as they have continued to move up. That weekly vertical crossover occurred back on Friday the 28th, and we had that entry point the following Monday there at the beginning of May, and it has done quite well for us. We shall continue to watch this trade that we are in on the NASDAQ 100. Be ready. If this does start ending, then we want to preserve our wins and jump out, but we'll see. We're not, we're sure not giving up on that just yet. Let's continue to move through these charts. We're going next to TLT. What is TLT? That's the 20-year treasury bond fund. We see on that three weeks of down movement, really two stronger weeks of down movement. Market sort of topped off their onus on the week ending the 21st, Friday the 21st of April. And we had a two-day vertical crossover come after that. Still in a confirmed up move on the weekly chart. Hasn't crossed over yet. Going down, down just a little bit on Thursday at 0.01%. If we take a look at this two-day chart, You can see that we're still below the two-day trend line. It is still trundling down. Continue to see derivative oscillator and continue to see 
the PPO continued to move down strongly, even though it was literally one-tenth of one percent down for the day on Thursday, still, you know, moving down quite strongly. Now, again, we're still in a confirmed up move. We haven't had the crossover yet on the weekly, so we don't have a trade here when we have conflicting signals. The weekly is up. The two-day is down. We don't have a trade here. We're in the queues because we have both the weekly and the two-day in an up move. So we're just waiting to see what happens. Is the two-day powerful enough to rotate the weekly over? Or is the weekly going to continue to win out? And at some point here in the not-too-distant future, the two-day will rotate back over going up. We shall wait and see. We saw that happen, didn't we, back around the 22nd of March. And we had a beautiful, profitable up move during that time period. That's why, folks, we want these both to match up, the two-day and the weekly. And when they do and you get in, it's beautiful. Now, lastly, we're going to take a look at gold. We're going to go to our weekly chart just to see where things are setting up. Gold's in a confirmed up move, getting very close to crossing over, going down. Has not happened yet. May happen on Friday. It was up 0.38% for the day on Thursday, so we might. It was, it was closer to crossing over actually on Wednesday at the close of the market because the up movement throughout the course of the day on Thursday, it's not as close as it was, but we shall see what Friday looks like. And again, we've got that little bit of, well, we've got that difference. We've got the weekly going up, two-day going down. When you have that schizophrenia going, you don't have a trade. So we're waiting to see what happens, and we may make that call over the weekend if you're not already signed up for our text notification service to know when weekly vertical crossovers occur, which are your best opportunity for hopping in that following Monday. We'll send it to you over the weekend. All you have to do is text to the number 33222, the word charting wealth. That's our name, one word, charting wealth. If you'll text that word to the number 33222, we'll put you on our list. We've got several hundred folks on that list. We send maybe two to four texts a month. Nobody's going to fill your phone up with a bunch of worthless text messages and no advertising. And, of course, everything you share with us stays with us. We don't sell our list. We don't go out and solicit you for things. We are here about training, teaching you. And, again, you want to supercharge your training, what you've got to do. You want to learn how these charts work so that you can make them work for you. Here's what you do. You go to our website, chartingwealth.com. You sign up for our newsletter. Put in your first name, your email address. You will receive every day that you, the markets are open, you'll receive the reviews that we do, plus notifications of all of our training. And with that in the show notes and the emails that you get, you will see that we provide you with our How to Read a Stock Chart video. Thousands of people have watched that, and we've had numerous thanks and comments, positive ones, on how valuable that is and just giving you a down and dirty what stock market charts are all about. In addition to that, you'll get our layout that we use at freestockcharts.com and you'll also receive from us the trader worksheet that you use when you are doing trades to keep up with the lessons that you learn and profits and all those types of things and our daily market worksheet you fill out Tuesday through Friday and then over the weekend for the market opening on Monday the weekly market worksheet all that stuff and much much more is for free nobody's going to solicit you Nobody's going to ask you to buy something. We are simply here to provide you with this information. God bless you. Take care. Chartingwealth.com.